Night Dieters. So today we want to talk about negative calorie foods. So the first time I ever heard of such a term was when Rocco Despirito came out with the book about the negative calorie diet, which is actually a really good book. But I was like, no way, no way. There's no such thing because he's selling a book. Here's yet another celebrity chef trying to sell us this new diet. You know how they always do like this new diet, something you've never heard before. And I was like, no way. So I started looking into it. So that's what we want to talk about today. Negative calorie foods. What are they? Do they exist? What is this whole concept of negative calorie foods? Let's get into the video. Thank you so much to all my returning subscribers. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you are a newcomer, welcome. Remember to complete the ritual that makes you family and subscribe down below. Also click the notification bell so you are notified every time that I upload a new video. Remember also to like and share with your family and friends and leave me a comment. I really want to know your thoughts down below and I will get back to you. We can have a full on, full on, Full on discussion down in the comment section. So the business of the day, we're talking about negative calorie foods. So food provides your body with a variety of nutrients, including these three main categories that provide energy for your body. We covered these when we spoke about macronutrients. I'm going to put the video right here. These are carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. Okay. So the main goal when we consume food is to get energy which are also known as calories or kilojoules depending on where you live so your body then burns this energy so that you can do the various activities that you do walking and just different processes that happen behind the scenes right and one thing i don't know if you knew this the chewing, taking in of food, digestion, and processing of food actually burns calories. So that's another way that your body actually burns calories. So calories are not only burned through exercise. You can burn calories when you eat. Just by chewing and digesting and processing food, you're burning calories. Which brings us to the definition of negative calorie foods. Negative calorie foods are foods that take more calories to chew, process, digest them than they actually contain or that they provide to your body. A good example is water. They say water has what? Zero calories, but it takes some calories to burn water, which means at the end of the day, when you take in water, the drinking, the whatever processing of that water into your body uses up calories. That means you're actually burning more from drinking water than you are taking in, if that makes any sense. So we're talking about a calories in versus calories out game. So with negative calorie foods, the calories taken in are less than the calories that come out, meaning the calories that are burned when you eat that food. So that was the whole concept of Rocco Despirito's book of saying you can lose weight by eating certain types of foods because just by eating them, you're burning energy from chewing and digesting them because they, the foods themselves don't actually have that many calories. Now, this concept is really largely debated in the diet nutrition circles because people say there's no such thing. It doesn't exist. Food contains calories and there's really no way to prove that this can happen. Mainly because they're considering things like the calories used when you are chewing food are really negligible at best because you don't use that many calories when you are chewing food. We don't know so much about digestion. Basically not enough research has been done. But I personally have tried this whole theory of negative calorie diets and Rocco Despirito himself came out and he said he had tried it and it was actually something that can work. So the best way to see, because you know, scientists, what they do with the studies and all that, it depends on who's funding the study and what they're trying to prove. So don't 
just take their word for it. Try it and see if it will work for you. If you consume mostly these negative calorie foods or if you incorporate them largely within your meals, I think that you're going to find that you are definitely going to see some weight loss results. I have done it and I still do it to this day and I think it works for me. I don't think that you should expect some crazy, you know, result of, oh my God, I ate these negative calorie foods and now look at me, I'm 20 pounds lighter in 10 weeks. No, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm saying putting them in your diet so that they actually help you to further your goal when it comes to your weight loss. Remember in uh, previous videos, if you check out my channel, you're going to find them. Actually, I'm going to put it down in the pinned comments so you go and uh, look at what we uncovered about diet really being the, the main thing that you can do for weight loss. So if you incorporate these negative uh, calorie foods in your diet, definitely you're going to see a lot, probably 80% of your weight loss is going to come from changing your diet. So try it, try it for a month and measure your results every day and see if it really works. Don't take Rocco Despirito's word for it. Don't take my word for it. Do it and see. And you're going to find out that these negative calorie foods are probably foods that you're supposed to be eating anyway on a balanced diet. A regular person, you're supposed to be eating more of these foods anyway. So don't let the whole hype fool you to think this is a new set of food that you've never heard before. No. But we just wanted to get to the concept. I'll come back with a part two where I actually give you examples of what these negative calorie foods are and you're going to find out that you probably are already eating them or you these are foods that your doctor has told you to start eating anyway so anyway blank dieters that's all i have for you in this video i will see you next time remember to like share and subscribe to my newcomers bye